my name is Kali Evet Bisarel from Bias and Tutu, and our red name for today is insertion of indwelling folic catheter for female patients. First, check the physician's order and assemble all the um, equipment needed for the catheterization. We will need folic catheter F14, sterile gloves, sterile cotton balls with antiseptic solution, water soluble lubricant, sterile syringe with water, specimen container, disposable urine bags, waterproof pad, and microphone. Identify the client and explain the procedure and reason for doing it. So, hello po ma'am. Ako po si Nurse Kalia. May nurse niyo po ngayong araw na to. At ano po pangalan niyo? Marikar. So, ma'am Marikar, ang gagawin po natin is insertion of indwelling folic catheter. And the next po na gagawin is wash your hands. And provide client privacy. So, pag nasa ward po, isasara po yung curtain ng ward. And, kapag nasa private room naman po, ipokos po yung pintuan. And, place the waterproof pad under the buttocks by asking the client na to turn to the side. So, ma'am, mag-turn po tayo sa side. Ayan. Ayan. lang po. Taas po yung onti. Kabila naman po. Slide the waterproof pad in place. Comfortable po ba kayo? Facing patient stands on the left side of the bed if right-handed. Place the client in dorsal recumbent position with knees flex. So, ma'am, tatas ko lang po yung ano nyo. Ano. Spread the blanket diagonally over the bed, leaving the genital area exposed. Then, place the tray on the bed between the legs of the client. Position the light to give the clearest view of the genitals. And then, put on sterile gloves. And then, place the sterile towel under the client's buttocks while keeping the glove hands protected. Nalagay ko lang po yung towel. Sagot natin ng legs niya. Tataas po ang to. Now let's start. Open the package catheter. There. As you can see, I am opening my new catheter. Open, open. And then get your 10cc syringe and then inflate the balloon with the perfilled syringe to check if your catheter is defective or not.
As you can see, I have finished filling up the balloon and you will notice that there is no leakage. So it means that the catheter is not defective. After filling up the balloon, we will now aspirate the fluid back into the syringe because the only reason why we did that is to detect if the catheter is defective. And then with the thumb and forefinger of the dominant hand, separate the labia and pull the hand slightly upward to make the urinary meatus visible. Keeping the dominant hand in place, and pick up the sterile cotton balls with the non-dominant hand to cleanse the area. Cleanse from above the urinary meatus downward with one stroke and drop the cotton ball in a receptacle for soiled cotton balls. Cleanse the labia folds from above downwards to the anus. Make sure that the cotton balls are discarded after each use. And then pick up the lubricating jelly and your catheter and lubricate the catheter about 1 to 2 inches from the tip. So the reason why we lubricate the catheter is for us to smoothly insert the catheter in the perineum of our patient. And also the lubricating jelly will help lessen the irritability of the patient. Gently insert the tip of the catheter about 2 inches very gently and slowly or until urine starts to flow. If there is resistance during the insertion, instruct the client to do deep breathing and rotate the catheter gently until the urine starts to flow. And then inflate the balloon by introducing sterile water to the injection port of the catheter. And then pull the catheter gently after to feel the resistance. And then obtain urine specimen in a sterile container if ordered. Oops! Then connect the catheter to the drainage tube and check the flow of the urine.
After doing that, secure the catheter with a tape on the upper thigh of the patient. And then dry the area, place the specimen where it is safe from spilling, and remove the tray and the equipment from the bed. Always make sure that before you send the urine specimen, to the laboratory, you should always indicate the name, the urine, or specimen, the date, and the time. comfortable position and then measure serine output, note the color, consistency, and characteristic of the urine. Send the urine to the laboratory with proper label. Always remember to put the name, date, and time in the urine container. And then clean used articles and disposable articles according to the hospital policy. Document the procedure using FDAR method and maintains body mechanics throughout the performance of the procedure. And always remember that while doing the procedure, always stay calm. And that's all for our return demo in insertion of indwelling Foley catheter in female patients. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Kalia Visceral from BSN22 and the continuation of my return demo is the removal of an indwelling Poly catheter for female patients. So the first thing that you're gonna do is check the physician's order and assemble your equipments. The 10 cc syringe, um, washcloth and towel, soap and water, exam gloves, plastic container for use catheter. Identify the patient and explain the procedure, advising her that there will be a slight burning during the removal of the catheter. Uh, Ma'am, uh, tatanggal na po natin yung catheter nyo and meron po kayong makifeel na onting pain at saka tingling, tingling sensation kapag i-remove na po natin yung catheter. Tag na po kayo. Um, provide privacy and assist the female patient in a dorsal recombinant. Position. So, kapag nasa ward po, ikuklose po yung curtain. At pag nasa uh, private room po, ikuklose po yung door. So, door sa recumbent po tayo, ma'am. Yeah. And then, wash your hands and put on exam gloves. Now we will need the 10 cc syringe and then empty the balloon by inserting the barrel of the syringe and withdrawing the amount of fluid used during inflation.
pinch off and gently pull on the catheter near the point where it exits from the meatus. And then clean the perineum with soap and water and afterwards dry the area well. And then empty the drainage bag and measure the amount of urine and record on the intake and output sheet. And remove the gloves and wash your hands. Also, discard disposable supplies and return reusable supplies and equipment to the appropriate area. And then record that the catheter was removed, note the time, the date, and by who. Note the amount of color and clarity of the urine in the drainage bag. Also document all the patient teaching done and the patient's level of understanding. And then, after removal of the catheter, assess the patient for 24 hours for patterns of urina urinary elimination. Note the time and amount of the first voided urine. Report any of the following. Inab inability to void within 8 to 10 hours. Frequency burning, dribbling, or hes hesitation in starting the stream of urine loudness or any other unusual color or characteristics of the urine. Provide a level of fluid similar to the intake when the catheter was in place. Document the procedure using FDAR method. Record that the catheter was removed, the date, and time, and by whom. Maintains body mechanics throughout the procedure and the performance while you're doing it. And always make sure that while you're doing it, while you're doing the procedure, you will stay calmness or you will show calmer, calmness at any cost. And that's all for my retin for today or rather for this time. Thank you for watching.